manage anger. Okay. Now, anger cannot be managed after you get angry. <laughs> it must be handled before we get angry. Okay. Now, so therefore, prevention is the only method of cure with anger. Okay. Trust me, because I have been an angry young man. You know, when, when I was in college days, my, I was very, very well known for my anger. But today, uh, you know, many people will assure you at home that uh, I don't get angry at all. Okay. Now, uh, in the office also, people have uh, people will assure you that I, I seldom get angry in the office. Now, <clears throat> not that we don't have stress in the office at home. We do a lot of stress everywhere, right? But uh, how did we succeed? How did, like me, there are millions of people who have succeeded with Vedatri Maharishi's anger management methods. Um, very simple process. <clears throat> like any other introspection pra practices of ours, what you do is you list down the people with whom you get angry. Okay? The list will not be very long. Some five people, ten people, twenty people at the most. Okay, so you write down those names. Then you prioritize according to the person whom you get angry most. Usually, it will be your spouse. Okay, or it will be your father, mother, brother, sister, son, daughter. Okay, I have seen this list for maybe hundreds of people. I can tell you the list has not varied. Okay. Usually, the list contains the people who love you most, whom you love most. <laughs> right? Seldom it is some other people. Okay? Yes, there are many other people in the society, like an auto driver, a bus driver, or somebody from the you know, street users, urchins. Many people could, could irritate you, you know, occasionally. But uh, you know, the frequency of anger, if you see, it is higher with people who you live with. Okay. So take the first person with whom you get angry most of the time. List down the times that you are getting angry. What are the times? When do you get angry with them? Why do you get angry with them? List down the reasons. Okay. And once you have written down the reason, take the first anger situation. Okay. And ask yourself, what is your contribution? What is the other person's contribution? If you genuinely ask that question, you will find the answer to be 100% on yourself, 0% on the other person. <laughs> I have so far never gotten anything less than 100% for me, 0% for the other person. Never. Anger, I was never able to justify. Right? However, when I look deeper into the reason of the anger, there would be a particular behavior of the other person or a particular force or a particular condition or a particular desire of mine that has not been fulfilled by the other person. Okay? For instance, I would have expected my spouse to do her exercises on a daily basis. Let us say she is not doing it. Let us assume that I get angry. Whose reason am I getting angry? Whose contribution is that? Is she contributing to my anger? Her contribution is zero. My contribution? 100%. Okay? But is it wrong of me to want her to remain healthy? Not wrong. But is my anger helping me and helping her? It is not. My anger is not going to make her do her exercises. Maybe because she is afraid of me, one day she will do. When I am not there, ah, he is not there now. It's okay, let's skip this exercises today. It's not going to work. So only way for me to succeed in making her exercise is to become her friend. Find out why she is not exercising. And remove the reason. Maybe she is having too much work at home. Maybe if I wake up in the morning, you know, half an hour early and help us, help her around at home. Maybe take up some cooking work, maybe do take up some washing work, maybe, you know, take some housework myself, you know. Maybe share with her some other workload elsewhere in the office. Her mind will 